If you love Baltimore sports, you'll love WNST.net. Legends Museum, the man, the myth, the legend, the Big Z, John Zeman. Who's dorkier, you or me? You. Right, exactly. Because you're younger. Steve Sable just passed away. We share a mutual friendship. We're just out here. I'm in my Orioles gear, man. I'm buckled up, in case you haven't noticed. For four bucks, who's not? So, uh, Steve Sable, I got to think in the museum business with the band, with all the stuff you did with films, there has to have been a moment for you to meet Steve Sable and spend time with him. No, Steve and I go back to 1964. You can realize in those days, only like 13 teams, NFL teams, so everybody knew each other. We saw Steve, we knew Ed, you know, through the band, they would come out. Big and Ed. Big Ed. Big Ed. I never knew Big Ed, but I knew Steve so well. If you knew Steve, you knew Big Ed. You knew Big Ed. And the sad thing about it, like I said, over all these years, you get a relationship going, and Steve was here, I guess, maybe about 18, 19 months ago, and we went out to dinner across the street, and he said, I got something to tell you. I said, what? He says, uh, I think I have brain cancer, and it sort of, sort of knocked me down. Wow. And he said, um, I'm going to beat this. I said, you have to. I said, this NFL Films can't go without you. Right on. Um, and then I talked to him about maybe five or six months ago, then the secretary called me and said that um, Mr. Zeman, Steve said to give you his best regards, but he's going to stop answering emails. And I said, I understood. And then it was a shock to all of us that he passed. But knowing him from 1964, through the band, through uh, Channel 2 while I worked there. Sure. Uh, even when uh, we opened Sports Legends, and many times NFL Films was based here. We let them use it for free. Michael Gibbons was benevolent to let them use this for free any time. And they were so good to the city and so good to uh, Sports Legends. And even with Babe Ruth, they included that a few times in NFL When's the first time you met Steve Sable? Uh, it was like October 1964. A young man in the band. Oh, my God. You've known him that long. That long. There aren't many people. There's nobody in the NFL that knows him. I mean, the new owners in the league, no. the players. I mean, no. we all associate Steve Sable with players of the 70s and 80s. You've known him since, like said, since like, Johnny U. Since Johnny U in 1964. I mean, like I said, there's only 13 teams in the league, so everybody knew each other. Steve and his father would be out there doing all the filming, all the taping. In those days, it was taping. They have. Filming. I've seen the video of right. one of the Colts cheerleaders smoking a cigarette. Yeah. Yes, in yes. that Pittsburgh episode. Remember and I can that? tell you exactly who it was. It was, it was, <laughs> uh, it was the late uh, Terry Woods. And uh, it was Bonnie Pettacord. Bonnie Cunningham Pettacord. With those two ladies doing that. Their majorettes on the sidelines. But, you know, it's all we got to tell the story. Now Steve Sable's gone. So, first time you met Steve? Baltimore? Yeah, Baltimore? Yeah, it was at Baltimore Memorial Stadium. You know, like I said, because he came out and worked with the band. At that time, I was working with a gentleman, Bill Miller, who was more or less a public relations publicity person. And I was looking at the study to him. I know Steve was new to the business. I was a kid. You know, still basically in high school. So we got a working relationship going. And through the years, you know, Steve would see me on the sideline. And things got bigger and bigger and bigger with the NFL. He slowly drifted away from, you know, doing film. He went to the front office and started producing uh, the front office and directing. And that's what he really wanted. He and his father made NFL films. I think he told me last time we talked in their library, I'm on NFL films 42 times. Wow. So, like I said. I've done two. Well, you can, see, you can see me. You can see me age. The last project we worked on was at Memorial Stadium when I was in charge of tearing it down for the sports levies and uh, um, uh, MSA. And that's the last project him and I worked together on, where he interviewed Lenny Moore. Uh, I, I, I've shown that on a million buses, right. John. And Lenny I love Moore, that piece. And uh, like I said, uh, Tom Matty. Joe Ehrman's in that piece. Well, that's another one. Right. That was another one. But this was basically, you know, the uh, Colts talking about. You know, um, tearing down Memorial Stadium, the history, the heritage, and the love for Memorial Stadium. And it starts out Steve, Lenny Moore, and Tom Matty sitting on the field talking. There's a vacant stadium, ready to be torn down. I've seen that. And we'll, folks, you can come to Sports Legends and you can pay a small yeah, fee. Get that for the WNST bosses. At Sports Legends for the and come back and see, for the real fans. see this documentary hey, man. Sports Legends. I gotta get into the ball game. Okay, folks, thanks a lot. Support Nestor, he's a great guy. Support John, but you already are. Thanks a lot. Thanks, man. If you love Baltimore sports, you'll love WNST.net.